me, Melody. Dad? Help me. Dad, where are you? Help me. Dad, where are you? Dad? Help me. Dad. Dad, where are you? I'm gonna die soon. Dad, where are you? Dad! Dad. Dad. Melody? <laughs> Melody, are you okay? Shane? <laughs> yeah, it's just me. I heard you yelling in your sleep, so I figured I'd better wake you. It sounded like you were having a bad dream. <sighs> Thanks. But it was more of a nightmare than just a bad dream. Do you want to tell me about it? You wouldn't understand. Well, tell me anyway. I dreamt that Dad was in trouble and I couldn't help him. I know he's dead in real life, but I dreamt that somehow he was still alive, but he was in trouble and I couldn't help him. Wow. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Stay here. I'll be right back. Okay? <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What's wrong? I'm worried about Melody. You are? Yeah. She just had a nightmare about Dad. She did, huh? Yeah, and I was wondering if I can invite Courtney over. What does Courtney have to do with your sister's nightmare? Believe me, if anybody can talk to her and make her feel better, it's Courtney. Well, why can't you talk to her? Or why can't I talk to her? We're not in the same boat as she is. I think it'd be better if I called Courtney, because her and Courtney have similar problems. Well, if you feel that's best, then give Courtney a call. Thanks, Mom. I hope you're not using this as an excuse to invite her over. It's not an excuse, it's a reason. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. All right, give her a call. I can't believe you invited Courtney over to talk to me. What does she have to do with this? Believe me, you'll thank me later. Yeah, much later. I don't understand where you're going with this, but... Just trust me. Come in. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm here. What do you need? I mean, if you wanted to hang out, you could have just said so on the phone. Well, I do want to hang out, but I want you to talk to Melody first. Melody? Why? Come here. Oh, okay. Do you think you can leave us alone, though? Sure. Guys, what are you up to? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you two talk. I'm gonna, I'll be in the living room if you need me. Cheyenne, what is this? <sighs> I don't know what you guys are doing, but trust me. You know, Cheyenne really loves you. And I love her. But I still don't get what, how you're connected with whatever is going on with me. <sighs> I know you don't want her to. But Cheyenne told me about your nightmare. Oh, yeah, about your dad? Yeah, I'm trying to forget about the nightmare. And you're not helping. I'm just telling you that I know what it's like not to have a father. You do? Yeah, my parents got divorced. Mine did too, but I never knew mom until I moved here. I was staying with my dad until, like since I was a baby, until he died like a few months ago. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my dad, he moved across the country. And he doesn't call me, he doesn't email me, he doesn't message me on Facebook, nothing. And it hurts that he's not 
there with us. So I guess y'all kind of in a similar situation with me. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm really sorry that you miss your dad so much. I even miss my dad, even though he's a creep. If you don't mind me asking, why did your mom and your dad get divorced? Well, dad couldn't handle being a father. He, we got, he, he and my mom divorced when I was younger. My sister McKenna knows him better than I do. But like I said, he never called, he never emailed me, he never wrote to us, nothing. It's like we didn't exist anymore. That's kind of how I felt with Cheyenne and Mom when I was living with my dad when he was alive. I just, how did your dad die, if you don't mind me asking? Um, he, he was sick. And he died in a car accident at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. What was your nightmare about? I thought you said that Cheyenne told me what my nightmare was about. Yeah, but I want to hear from you what it was about. Well, I was in this dark place and my dad was calling me for help and I couldn't help him and I couldn't find him or anything. So scary. I could still hear his voice calling my name even as I'm talking about it. I was there when my dad died. He died in front of you? Well, yeah, we were both in the car. I was was I suffered from minor injuries, but Dad died on impact. I'm sorry. Maybe my situation isn't as similar as yours. Well, not to be mean, but at least there might be a chance your father will keep in touch with you. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Yeah. Listen, but if you ever want to talk, let me know. I will, thanks. Oh, a melody? What? Your sister must go the same way about your dad. What do you mean? She never knew my dad. Doesn't matter. She probably feels like she doesn't have a dad either. She hasn't had a dad her whole life. I mean, technically she did, but you know what I mean. I never realized that Cheyenne had it as bad as I did. All I've been thinking about was myself. Don't be hard on yourself. I'd probably make the same mistake. Well, look, I have to go. I don't want to be late for dinner, but um, I'll let Cheyenne know you want to talk to her. Thanks. <sighs> hey, are you okay? Yeah, thanks for bringing Courtney over to talk to me. Hey, no problem. She's just as much your friend as she is mine. Are you okay, though? Yeah, but I want to tell you something. What? I want to apologize. Apologize? Apologize for what? Well, I was so busy focusing on my own problems with Dad. I at least knew him before he died. You never knew Dad. Well, barely. Before he died. And I felt the same way, I feel the same way about you and mom. I mean, you didn't die, but I didn't know you my whole life. So I guess we're kind of in the same boat, just on opposite ends. Yeah, kind of killed me when I found out that I had a dad and a sister and we never met each other. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Mom and I didn't make any more of an effort than you did to keep in touch. But me, you, and Mom are family now. Nothing's going to change that. Thanks. And thank you for bringing Courtney over. No problem. <laughs> Love you. Love you too.